So I just finished making the game of the week for Chromeworks. Uh, it's I'm a music producer, so I decided to make a little beat maker game. You push the buttons on your keyboard and you can make a little beat out of that. Uh, so right now I'm going to walk you through what I did to make it, how I made it. Uh, I hope you guys can try and make something similar. So before I get into actually how I made this and get into the, the coding part, there's something you need to do first. Uh, so the tool we'll be using in uh, for this game is an extension. So it won't be in Scratch by default. So you have to go down to this bottom left blue button down here, add extension. <clears throat> and you have to find the one that says music. It might not be at the top for you, but it should be somewhere in here. And just click that, and then you'll get all these buttons, and we'll need to use those later. Okay, so here's the game. Go full screen. Um, so you click on your keyboard to play one. And then I click another one. That's how it works. So here's how I made it. So the first, when I first tried to make this same game, I tried putting every sound. So let's say this kick plus snare here, this W. That was its own loop. So that would just play on a loop and that was its own thing. Um, the problem with that is once you'd have like the kick and the snare and the hi-hat and the cymbal, when they all played at once, since Scratch, I don't know, Scratch couldn't really handle that sometimes. So what it would do is it would eventually like unsync and it would sound really bad. It would just start messing up. So what we did to fix that is now what it does is when any key is pressed, so any of these you see here, W, A, S, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, when any key is pressed, it'll play this loop. It'll broadcast beat, which is just the one it's any of these are like all of these are called beat it'll broadcast that and then it'll wait one second to play the next part so that it doesn't here i'll show you what it means so if i just took that out and it was just broadcasting beat it would do this this is w really bad if i put in the wait one second it'll make the second part delay it's not really a loop it's one thing playing once and then that'll repeat after one sec, after it's waited one second. So yeah, this is sort of like the good metaphor is like, this is kind of the conductor of a symphony. And all of these are their own instruments being told what to do by this. So you do when any key is pressed in the events, when any key is pressed, and then you're gonna add a forever block here. You're gonna go broadcast. You're gonna have to go new message beat. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna do it again. Broadcast beat, and then put that in there. And you're gonna go wait one second. So that's the master controller sprite. This, so here's the first. Basically, all of these have the exact same code, except for when it comes to what instrument they're actually playing. So here, let me show you this first one. So the first code you see here is when the green flag is clicked, switches costume to off. So over here, we'll go to costumes. It's got two costumes here. It's got an off and an on, so that it looks different when it's playing. So. As soon as the green flag is clicked, it'll switch to the off. So let's say it's on like that. So it's on still. When the green flag is clicked, it goes to off like that. That's in looks. So you're going to go switch costume to off. And then set play, which is a variable here. Set play to off. So you're going to have to go make a variable. You want it to be for this sprite only because you don't want it to be a universal variable. You want it to just be for their, you want it to be specifically for the kick and snare or specifically for the piano. Um, so you're gonna go make a variable for this sprite only and make it play. You're gonna go 
when the green flag is clicked, switch costume to off and set. Here you'll find set, drag that in, make it play to, and then instead of zero, you're going to write off. Okay, so this is the first blocks of code. The second thing you want to do is whatever key you want to make it, I made it W. So I'm going to go in here, select W. When W key is pressed, you want it to go to next costume. And what that will do is we'll, we'll remember this on costume. It'll switch it to that. So when the W key is pressed, it switches to the on costume. There's an if statement here. It's if else. Okay, so basically if, and then you're going to go into operators. You're going to drag this in here. And then you're going to go costume here. You're going to go costume number equals one. So if it's costume number one, which is the on costume, this blue up here. If this is true, then you want to go down to variables and you want to set play, that play variable we made before, to on. Okay, so if the costume number is on, then you want the sound to be playing. We haven't got into the sound yet, that's down here. If costume number equals one, which is the on costume, then set play to on. So then for the else, so basically this means if this is true, then do this. Otherwise, do this. So if costume number equals one, then set play to on. And then you're going to go else, set play to off. Basically, you're saying if the costume number is the blue one, then play the sound. If the costume number is the orange one, then don't play the sound. That's basically what you're telling this to do. To do. So you're going to, here, I just, when W key press, just to recap, you're going to go next costume. So every time I click W, it goes, it switches costume. You can see there. You go to next costume, and then you say, if costume number equals one, then set play to on. Otherwise, or else, set play to off. So now for the actual sound. So here it says, so since in the first one, we've got a kick and a snare, you're going to need two different code blocks here. So the first one here, we'll start with snare. When I receive beat, which is another message here, remember from the controller, we had broadcast beat. It's the same thing. All of these instruments are going to be under the message called beat. Since you've made the controller already, you should have beat in here somewhere. So you're going to select beat. And then you're going to take this. OK, so I'll get another if statement. And this is not if else. This is just an if statement, just if. So you're going to take another operator down here, this one, put it in there. And then you're going to take that play variable once again that we used um, that we used for setting play to on, setting play to off. You're going to drag the variable from here, right there. If play equals on, then you want to drag this in, play snare drum for one beat. Okay, so that's the same thing we have up here. When I receive beat, which is from here, so any key pressed, would, in this case, W, when I receive beat, if play, if the play variable equals on, which we controlled up here, uh, then it's going to play the snare. So with just the snare, I'll move that. So here's what it's playing right now. And then since there's also a kick drum or a bass drum in uh, in this sprite, we also have to add this. Okay, so you're going to go, when I receive beat, if play equals on operators, this one, and variable play, you're going to want to go, okay, you're going to need two of these. So play, and then you're going to go, okay, drop down, bass drum for 0 0.5 beats. And you're going to have to add duplicate this and add a second one that I have here, or else it will just play like, sorry, give me a sec, it'll just play this. If you want them to play in a sequence, if you, so right now it's just playing with the snare. If you want a second one there be, right before the snare, add this, 
and then it goes like that. So basically, this is going to be your skeleton for every single one of these buttons here. You're going to be basically just duplicating it every time and just changing the instruments and stuff. So this is the this is the first button we have here. So just to just to recap, when the green flag is clicked right here, it'll make sure that the costume is off. It's on the off costume. And it will set the play variable to off so that the music is not playing whenever I click this. Then we're going to go when W key is pressed, it'll switch to the next costume, the on costume. And if the costume number equals one, then we set the play variable to on so that the music is playing. Other else, set the play variable to off. So if the costume number is two, set the play variable to off. And then again, when I receive beat, if play equals on, so if it's play, if I've clicked W, then play snare drum one for one beat. Beat. When I receive beat, if play variable equals on, then play bass drum for 0 0.5 beats and play bass drum for 0 0.5 beats again. Okay, so that's basically it for the under understanding how this stuff works. And then what you're going to do once you've done, let's say you've made this one, you're going to go down to this where right here where it says beat one, it might say sprite for you. You're going to right click and click duplicate. That'll be down here. So here's the, I just duplicated this. And I don't need this since I'm already, I'm already done mine, but you're going to go in and let's say you want the second one like I did. You wanted the second one to be a hi-hat. So you wanted the second one to be that. You're going to, you're only going to need one instrument for this. So you don't need the second whole thing here. You just need this. You're going to, when I receive beat, play Closed hi hat right here. Closed hi hat instead of bass drum or snare or whatever it was. You're gonna want to go play closed hi hat for 0 0.25 beats. You're gonna want to go. These will remain the same. The, this one and this one will remain the same, except for whatever the key is. You're gonna have to change the key each time. So I'm gonna choose up arrow. When I receive beat, if play equals on, then play closed hi-hat for 0 0.25 beats. The problem with this is if I do it, it'll just play that, but why is it doing that? So the, the fix for that is we have to make four of them, and they'll actually play in a sequence now. Like that. And then again, it's this controller thing that loops that. It's broadcasting beat, wait one second, but then repeating it forever. So yeah, I've already got this hi-hat thing here and it's the same thing I just showed you. I just wanted to show you how to do that. So when you're done, again, you're gonna wanna duplicate, right click, click duplicate, and then that'll take you, it'll just have an identical sprite to this and you're going to change it to whatever instrument you want. The problem is when you want, let's say, let's go to piano one. The problem is if you want something to play just one note, right? If you want, so if I were to just, here, I'll give you an example. If I were to just duplicate, let's say the hi-hat right here. If I were to just duplicate the hi-hat, down here, let me move that so you can see. And if I wanted to make it a piano, if I wanted to make it a piano, uh, for piano, I have to go set instrument to drop down piano, number one. And then I want to go play note, whatever note you want, and they're numbered 60. Uh, 48, 60. So I have mine, uh, I'll show you in a second. I have mine, but mine are playing these four notes. If I 
let me set this back to 60 real quick. If I were to just leave it like this, if I were to just duplicate one of the, let's say the hi-hat like I did, and then switch it to piano, let's make this the down arrow. If I were to do that, here's what happened when I go down arrow. The piano plays over and over and over and over again, which is not what, I mean, if you want that, that's fine. But what I wanted is I wanted to just be able to freely play the piano, like one shot, one note. So I'll show you what my piano does. I click one, plays once, two, plays once, four, plays one note. So the way you do that, if you want it to just play one shot like I have it, you have to, you can keep, you keep this and then you have to add two blocks at the end. You have to add set play to off. That way it'll just play once and then it's over. But the problem with that is you see it stays, it looks like it's on. It stays on the, on the sec, on the first costume where it's the blue costume. And you don't want that. You want it once uh once you've once it's done playing you don't want it to still look like it is playing on the screen so you're gonna have to add switch costume to off so now when i click down arrow it just goes on and then off on and then off so yeah that's what i have right here it should be the exact same thing um so yeah, that's how it works for just playing one note. And then for each of the other pianos, what I did is I just, again, right click, duplicated them, and then it came over here. The only things you have to switch for the second part is which key you want to click. So I switched the first piano was the one key, as you see there. I switched the second one to two. And you also want to switch the note because you don't want them all to be playing the same note, because that would just be pointless to have four different buttons to play this exact same thing. So I had the first one play this, the second one play this, the third one play this, and the fourth one play that. Set it back to there. So again, you want to switch which key is activating this and which note your piano is playing. And you're going to do that until you're happy with whatever you have. And then, so here's the third one again. This is the three key, and it's playing note 67. And then the fourth one is the fourth key, and it's playing note 72. So just one more time, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna, I would duplicate the piano. Um, if I, I added a section here is bass notes. So I duplicated the piano, brought me down here. I'm gonna switch. So it's going to say, if I just duplicated it, it would say set instrument to piano. I wanted a bass. You can do whatever you want. You can do an organ, a guitar, whatever. You could even add more drums if you want. Um, but then if you wanted drums, you would go play drum, remember. Uh, so I went set instrument to bass. And then I wanted a low, low note for the bass. So I went into play note. It would have started you at 60. So I would go down to twenty note 24. And... Switch it to the fifth key here. So when I click the five key, sorry, when I click the five key, it plays that note. And then I would duplicate again, switch to key six and play note 28, duplicate again, switch to key seven and play note 31, duplicate again, switch to key eight and play note 36 right there. Yeah, that's basically it. I added uh, some other animations around here, just rotations and the title. So I'm going to show you the final game. So these are moving around like that. W key. So yeah, just play whatever you want, make some different patterns, and there you go. If you want to try and remix this game yourself, there will be a link in the description to do that, or go to chromeworks.ca slash projects.